Hi there, you're working on a scene in 3D and you would like to have the ability to precisely use the thirds guide in your composition. But of course Maya doesn't care enough to give us something like that. Instead they give us this useless guide that nobody cares for. Nobody I know cares for. I've never found it to be useful in the first place. So here's my solution for it. I go and create a camera. Then that camera needs to stay the way it is in terms of the orientation then I'm going to create a plane that's going to face it then frame it perfectly here is the plane bring that plane in no subdivisions and the numbers here must correlate to what to the resolution of my scene so if it's like a full HD then in that case it's 1920 by 1080 now, of course, I'm not going to type in here 1920 by 1080 and expect that it would be great because it would be humongous. See that? Instead, I would just go here and add one point, tab, one point for the width and the height. Now, I'm going to go into the panels and view that uh, plane from the camera but of course we don't know precisely how that plane is filling up the frame of the camera that's why we could use the resolution gate so you click on that button and now we can dolly forward and there you go now it's filling up the frame of the camera i select that plane shift select the camera and then hit p so it's parented so now that it's parented now, if you go and see through the camera, it's blocking your view, which is exactly what I need. Then I would go and apply a new material for it. Now, here is here is really what you need to know as far as efficiency. You can apply a Lambert. So let's say you end up with a JPEG or even an image with PNG that's not working. Okay. You go to the material and you can crank up the transparency. And that gives you a cheap solution. Not really the intent of my video here, but in case the transparency malfunctioned on you, this is the solution. But the way that I would like you to uh, to do is you go to the standard surface and then you kill the specular, you increase the roughness just in case. The IOR, it's good to keep it at one in case you wanted to render with that third guide. Then you go into the color and then you apply that image with PNG so instead of the JPEG I'll go with the PNG and hit OK now as you can see it looks fantastic now let me select on the cat and hit F to frame it but guess what it doesn't work that way because your view is blocked by that plane okay so what's the solution you select that plane hit Control A to get to that display and then you click on this button here that's going to add a new layer with that plate added to it. And I'm going to call this thirds underscore plate. And you can give it a color if you want. So what's the benefit of that display layer? Well, if you click here, one click on that square, you get template mode, which means you cannot touch it, but it doesn't really preview it with texture. Instead, I'm going to click one more time to the reference and now I cannot select it. So now, however you want to move the camera, it's going to be right there. And if you look through it, now I can select that cut. Check this out. Now you know how to create a camera with thirds, whether in Maya or in any other software. So hopefully by watching this video, you, you, uh, you get that experience of troubleshooting. But for your convenience, in the description below, I'm going to provide the camera that I just created, not this one, a cleaner one with everything named, uh, and put it in the description so you can download it if you want to use it on the go instead of going through this hassle. And hopefully that helps. Cheers.